<laughs> Brad's big knife. That's what we call it from now on. Uh, I, I've been getting inquiries about getting them, and I have two. Uh, only need one, so um, let's uh, show it. Okay, and um, it's going to be on sharpensbest.com. Okay, yeah, I like the fact that it's double bagged. I mean, they actually try to take care of them. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. Um, and then uh, we have a nylon cape. Make sure you keep the straps out of the way. I watch people when you're at a gun show every weekend. The idiots, I just call them idiot because you almost have to be. Whether it's a leather sheath, leather straps, leather or whatever it is, and they just pull the knife out. And I, I, I know they're going to do that, so I stop them before they even do it because they always they cut my my straps on my knives I got for sale because actually this one might be as sharp. Keep your little finger out of the way too. Um, but my knives on my table are crazy damn sharp and they cut the strap one time out without guarding the strap, you'll cut it. My knives are crazy damn sharp. Okay, so that one, oops, yeah, that's not bad. Clear out there and we'll tip it in, do it again. Like that, and back here. It's a little grabby, but that's okay. If you're gonna have a big knife that you might take to the woods with you and stuff like that, you don't want it, uh, you know, like 6,000 grit sharp because you're gonna tear that cutting edge up. The apex of the blade will not last. Um, I don't even know why. If you want bragging rights and you got a $600 knife or something like that and you wanna work on it for six hours, and uh, you know to show people how sharp you can make a knife um, I guess that's fine but making any knife you're going to use for except maybe meat on a wood cutting board in the kitchen down 6,000 grit sharp in my opinion is there's something wrong with you because that edge will never hold period so let's see I guess I'll go ahead and let me feel along a little tiny bit of a burr on this side. So I'm gonna use my round sharpener. I'm gonna make sure it's kind of float. I call it floaty. It's it's actually, I'm not actually holding on to the sharpener at all. And we're gonna to touch it this light, right on out, right off the tip. Turn it over and do the same thing. Really light. I think it's going to be noticeably better. I don't have to touch the paper very hard now at all to get it to bite and cut clear out. Let's do it one more time. If you can get it to bite out there. Okay. So this knife, go to uh, sharpen. Boy, that is bright. Um, go to sharpensbest.com. Rubber, rubbery handle. I like the handle. I like that handle. Okay, then your finger guard the hilt area here. Um, I don't know. Five, Ten inch blade, I'm going to say. It probably says on there somewhere. Um, M-Tech USA. Uh, I'm sure it's not made in USA. It's designed in the companies in USA. Anyway, there's a lot of people that are saying, you know, hey, I'd like to have that knife. So go on, first come, first served. Um, we'd, we'd have more, but they're out of stock. There's a lot of stuff today's out of stock because people just can't get stuff. Uh, so, and that's okay, I guess. Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. Go to sharpensbest.com, take a look, and if it's there, it doesn't say out of stock, buy it because this is the only one that's going to hit my channel uh, for a while anyways. Talk to you later.